In the Workshop, a collection of Stuart Model steam engines built by Peter Tarn. This one is different to the others, it's a review of two Stuart Models 10H model steam engines. And the only essential difference between these two engines is the colour. First of all, I'm going to review the green one. So off we go. This is a very nice example of a Stuart 10H. By the way, the H stands for horizontal. Stuart also do a Stuart 10V, which is a vertical engine, as the V stands for vertical. But this is the H derivative. The 10H and the 10Vs share some parts. The same crankshaft, the same cylinder, the same flywheel. In fact, they're very similar, except that the bed plate and the base are different. As per usual, I lubricate the engine before I start. I would never run a model steam engine unless I'd personally oil it. And once again, I use my own oil mixture, which is 50% 1000 grade steam cylinder oil, 25% machine oil, and 25% rapeseed oil. I've connected the airline and turned on the air, so let's see how the engine performs. Although this engine looks like it's running OK, well, it sort of does run OK. You put the air into it, open the valve, the more pressure you put in, the faster it goes. But I'm sure you can hear that it isn't sounding right. As I rotate the flywheel by hand and admit some air, you can hear how the air is blowing past the piston, or blowing past the valve, or both. But these particular model engines are more like glass case museum model engines. They're not really designed to run and do work. The crankshaft on this engine is quite good. There's not much run out on the flywheel on this engine. Run out, by the way, means that it wobbles slightly. If you take a look at some full-size steam engines, you will see the same thing. I can't really say what's causing the bloater exhaust on this engine without dismantling it to have a look, and I'm not going to do that. This is a model steam engine review, not a repair. But I do know what the problem is. I've seen it many times before, and it's a very simple fix. So that's the green 10H model. And now for something completely different. This is a Stuart Models 10H and the difference between this and the other one is it's blue and it has a brass pulley on it rather than a steel one. In other ways it seems to be fairly identical. So I'll give you a chance to have a look at it on the turntable. Yes it's quite nice as this. There appear to be some slight marks on the flywheel rim which could be blow holes in the casting and that's nothing to worry about. As usual before running the engine on compressed air I'm oiling every moving part and this engine has a really sensible modification. There's an oil cup on the big end. If you have a look at the rear of the big end brasses, you can see that there's an oil cup been attached to that. One major problem with very small steam engines like this type is that the oil spins off very quickly and you end up with the big end being dry. But this should make a difference. Let's see how it runs. The flywheel seems to be running fairly true on this engine, which is more than can be said for the brass pulley at the right hand side, but you can't have everything. Like the other Peter Tarn engines that I've reviewed, it's a very good example of a small Stuart steam engine. To make a steam engine to this standard, one that looks like this, takes a lot of effort, as well as a great deal of skill and experience. It looks good from just about any angle. This engine, along with the other ones that I've reviewed, will be shipped to the USA very shortly. The Stuart Models 10H series of steam engines were designed to be high speed steam engines and even though the valve time is slightly out at one end on this engine, it still really goes fast if I turn up the air pressure. Just watch this when I let go of the flywheel. As you can see the engine tries to jump off the bench and when I said turn up the air pressure I meant turn it up to about 30 pounds per square inch. It really goes fast. This is the last of the short reviews of these steam engines that my friend in America bought from Peter Tan.
It's not often that you see Stuart Models engines looking quite as good as these do. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.